All right, YouTube, it's about 7.30 in the morning and we're gonna do this video a little different. We're gonna try a vlog style. We're gonna kinda of go through this process here, a exciting few days ahead. And uh, first of all, starts off from running to the airport, shipping some snakes to Puerto Rico. We're gonna talk a little bit about how that works, kinda of cool. Um, Puerto Rico is a little bit harder to ship than most of the US, but it's still the US, so it's not international. Pretty cool. Then I'm getting on a plane and going to one of my favorite states, where I spent a lot of time as a kid. California, or check it out. All right, so just left Delta, um, pulling out now. They, uh, they're good to deal with, good people. Um, so the animal dropped off. Shipping to Puerto Rico is interesting because it seems international, but it's a you know U.S. territory. So it's actually fairly easy, but you're not your standard overnight FedEx. That's Puerto Rico requires that it come in um, and be inspected by a vet, come with a vet certificate. So we send it with a vet certificate, and we send it on a Delta flight. Um, so we do it legally, we do it by the book. Um, so now I gotta go get on a plane myself. So made it to LA here, um, having a great time. And my brother picked me up. I'm gonna let you guys meet the big, the illustrious uh, Jared Kabelka, who is an LA firefighter. So we give him this big behemoth. Say, hey. <laughs> so he picked me, picked us up in this uh, behemoth here. Massive. I think it's a lot of fun to drive on these uh, small city streets. So it's day two, California trip day two, and stayed at my brother's place last night. And today he and I are going to go over and do a little snake business. We're actually going to deliver some snakes to Miguel, um, always evolving pythons. So that's going to be a lot of fun with some amazing snakes. But first, can't start the day without some Starbucks. And uh, we're going to get in the truck, and it's about an hour and a half or so, and we can try to get to get uh, the other Cabelka here, get him to open up about, uh, get to let you know the. Uh, the other big Kabelka in the world. <laughs> so now you know how Justin takes his coffee. A little girly, actually. Uh, Jared's got it even more girly, though. Cherry fresh. Yeah. All right, man. So it's like to be a firefighter in LA. It's uh, it's a very busy job. Definitely keeps uh, keeps you on your toes. You get to see crazy things every day. At the same time, you get to see uh, a lot of just normal stuff too. But uh, you yeah. know, does it give you faith in humanity? <laughs> uh, those moments are fewer and far between. But yes, sometimes you get that. Not not on a daily basis though. You, you see a lot of the worst of humanity, unfortunately. What percentage of your calls are actually fires? Uh, I think if you broke it down, it's it's only like 10, 10%, 10%, 10, 15%. Is it mostly medical calls? It's, all, it's almost all medical calls, yeah. Gotcha. It's, I mean, it's, it's maybe like 75, 80% medical calls. Then you got like 10% fires, and then you got um, service calls, uh, out, stuck elevators, uh, car accidents, physical extrications from car wrecks, stuff like that. snakes to Miguel at Always Evolving Pythons. A really exciting project. Um, so we're going to see what he thinks. Come on. 
Hey. Hey, what's up, brother? Oh. All right, guys. This is exciting. Before we start, no, actually, I'm not even going to bring that up. All right. All Go right. ahead. All right, so there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in this box. Yes. I'm excited about this, though. So for you guys that don't, well, that follow me and stuff, you guys knew that I was trying to work on the deal with Justin. Justin's not the easiest, you know, cookie to crack sometimes. You know, this was pretty hard. I mean, the Gotham was hard to get off of him, but this one really took some time. But I'm glad that we're able to get it. Um, so thank you. Pretty sure you guys know what it is already. Well, they don't. Yeah, they'll know when they see the card. Yes. So it's the first blue snake ever. Look at that, right there, just fine. So as you guys all know, he did a presentation for the Magma Project, and this right here is the Pompeii. I hope it's the Pompeii. So a little backstory on the Pompeii. Yes. Chase actually named the Pompeii. Did he really? It took me a long time to come around to agreeing to that name. Yeah. He named. He called it the Pompeii when it first hatched, and I'm like, oh, dude, we don't need another corny name. And <laughs> And I'm, like, I'm, and just gonna call, it up. I'm just gonna call it by its ingredients. Is what I said. He's yeah. like, no, you can't do that. You got to give it a cool name. And uh, after just hearing him say, he he's the kind of person who names something, he'll never stop calling it that. And uh, so after about hearing him say it for about a month, like I was completely sold on just, the name. Yeah, was, I like I like the whole name yeah, on it, man. It was awesome. All right, number one, this is this thing. Okay, this thing is something. So don't want to look at the back. So I don't. Want, I want to be as surprised when I open it. Um, okay, so this goes back to me saying about powerhouses, you know, having a very, very powerful, powerful male. Um, this right here goes past powerhouse, I, I believe, right? Hyperhouse. Hyperhouse. Overly powerhouse. Yeah. Kind of, right? All right, just playing. Well, guys, right here we have a leopard uh, pied clown right here. Sorry, it's got a little mixed up on this one. Um, anything you want to say about this, Justin? Since you're a lot better with words and snakes, sure. I just well, like to show them off. This snake is <laughs> this snake's amazing. Um, the cool thing is, clown pies are just absolute powerhouses, no matter what, because yeah. they combine two of everybody's favorite snakes. Right? Everybody loves the clowns. Everybody loves the pies. They're recessive, so they're a little hard. They're a little harder to make. And we put two recessives in one. It compounds that by an order of two. You know, so it's a lot harder to make. And the leopard on this snake just makes it a lot more orange. We got a lot of really cool orange. Um, and usually the leopard clown pies are really high white, but we have one here with a really good, nice amount of pattern, a lot of really cool. Yeah, you some see really, the whole leopard in here. Yeah, and some yeah. really crazy, uh, some crazy um, saddles here that you don't typically yeah. see um, as far as their shape and everything goes and just exceptional color. And I have so. the perfect female that I got from Justin a couple of months ago. It's a super orange dream, yellow belly, Head pied, fifty percent head clown. So, so the perfect girl. Yeah, and a it boy turns like out this, even better. A boy like this is worth nothing without the girls. It's yep. the, it's the girls in. It's true for any project, but it's the girls who make the the males um, really show, share their value correctly. So perfect. yeah, so he's done the work, and now we have the, the boy to bring the investment home. Perfect. One down. All right. And there's Let's two see. that we there's two that we're not showing, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now this one is probably the hardest one to get from me. Of all of them. I would have loved, 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 loved to get this girl. I was only expecting three snakes, but there's five here, just so you guys know. All right. So here we go. So right here. This is the one they actually, did you put this on your, um, on your announcement. So this is on the video, the original yeah. Magma video. This is the Spot Nose Magma. So it's the Spot Nose Red Stripe Clown. Beautiful girl right here, guys. And remember, I'm going to show you guys a close-up picture of all these. Right. So the head on this thing is really, really, really unique. And it has the beats by Dre. Yeah. But a little bit different style. Exactly. What were the... the um what do we call them? These are the wireless. The wireless. The wireless. So it's got these like really dream. crazy earmarks on them. That's really awesome. The flames on it, and just that overall kind of burned red color there in the neck and the head is just. This thing is freaking beautiful, insane. man. And, and this is the key for the super magmas, right? That's uh, right. Yeah. That next level stuff, and so you, you got to have the girls. And this is. Uh, I want to be able to hit the female. super magma before you do. Good luck, man. 
Yeah, that's I know. <laughs> that, that's going to be a, a little right. hard to do. <laughs> so, Justin, a lot of people always tell yeah. us that, um, is there any way we could get you to take two years off of breeding so everyone could catch up, or maybe, in this case, five or three years? There have to be some kind of serious medical emergency, I think. Oh, no, we don't want that. To me to do that. <laughs> we, we don't want that. <laughs> could you put that back it's over too there? Much, I'm having too much fun. Okay. So, and here is the other half of the equation for your... This is the one that I was seriously, it was like, pull, I mean, like pulling teeth, man. I was literally like, it was almost a go, then it wasn't, but. I'll let you pull it out. It's a go, yeah. Let me, this one's, well, let me just uh, put the bag right there. Bam, you guys see that? This is it right here. And here he is, the magma, which is a red striped clown boy. So this is very, very important in my eyes to have right here. Um, is this the second boy, right? It's the second boy, and the cool thing is, is that, you know, after the release of the project, everybody's going crazy to make heads, and you have the male yeah. visual in your hands to, to take it to that next level. The girls you have on the shelf with this are just, it's, I can't wait to see, honestly. What's, um, I'm asking you, what's, uh all the feedback been like since you did this whole magma project it must have been pretty because yeah. i got a lot of it and you guys know i mean yeah. asking me i mean even some of you guys went up to tinley and asked him if i was going to get into it. well yes i did but how was it on your um on your side so it's interesting because i'm kind of in an echo chamber in, in my place you know i'll see the snake i'll think it's insane but over the course of of the time it takes me to actually do the video and show the snake I actually talk myself down a little bit, you know, yeah. like, oh, okay, it's amazing, but is it really that amazing? And in this case, when we put the video out, I was not anticipating, I knew it was, I knew it was a very special snake, but I was not anticipating the level of excitement and interest that it caused. Yeah. I was not anticipating the fact that you basically can't even buy red stripe snakes. No. You, <laughs> They're just gone. Like, that's, I did not, I, I could not have predicted My that. red stripes that I bought from you, I mean, last year, are worth, worth a lot more now than yeah. after you did this. Well, I've been saying for four years almost, buy red stripes. They're amazing. Buy red stripes. There's really cool stuff that can be done. And there was a podcast on you saying right. that. And too, right. And I even said it on a podcast. I said, shoot, if you want to know what the next thing at JKR is going to be, buy red stripes. And what was your no, whole thought behind it? Like, what made you think that it was going to be something on it? What I saw on the red stripe was that it was a kind of a rusty colored animal. So it was a unique color to the color palette that we weren't seeing from other morphs. The super was even more that way, and it had a nice striping, which we, you know, luckily yeah. we kind of bring that out in the um, in the animal in, in general. And then when I saw when I saw all that, and I thought, okay, so here we have a red stripe, which is a somewhat striped animal. The super is very striped. We're going to put it into the clown, which is obviously a unique angle that people love. Put it into the clown, bring the red into the clown, and the stripe is going to clash with the clown black back yeah which whenever you're putting opposites together you know something has to give there has to be a result that's going to be really impressive or outside the box yeah. and so from the beginning i just felt like this is a really really cool way it took me a little bit of time to figure out the best angle but in the end the animals you know they speak for themselves it's, it's and you guys know them. they look freaking amazing man um next uh thing the pompeii so i want to ask you this so there's rumors that the coding on this, there was a picture and that code on it told you all its genes, but then people are saying that you did that on purpose to throw people away from it. That did be pretty diabolical if I was to do that, huh? I mean, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I, that's something I would do. I mean, because a lot of people are saying that's what it is, but I don't think it is. I guess, well, when well, are we going to know? Um, I don't know how soon you know. I, I, guess, I, I guess that's one of those things I got to figure out, but I would say this. My web guy doesn't know what's in these snakes, and um, most of the pictures aren't necessarily labeled perfectly right online. But but there will come a time, and hopefully not too long, where um, I can show this, and hopefully maybe even something that takes it a step further, and kind of just explain it all, and explain how I see it all working, and yeah. what the, what's so, going on with it. Here's another thing. So you guys know that I bought a lot of snakes from Justin in the past to make Batmans, right? Um, to me, Batman's been one of the, I mean, coolest looking snakes. I mean, he's brought about the lesser Batman I fell yeah. in love with. How are those things doing anyways? Insane. I could Amazing. just imagine. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's something I could have easily bought, but I mean, you always have to look forward. In my eyes, you always have to look forward to a project that, you know, makes you want to work for it to, you know, make it yourself. So hopefully this year I could hopefully hit a Batman. I mean, the odds 
are with me. I mean, more than not. But this is another project that I want to do. And hopefully in the next couple of years, I will make one of these. Well, the amazing thing is, is that you've set yourself up with the animals that are actually going to make better than this. Yeah. So that's even... <laughs> It's, that, it's cool when you can hit something, but it's even cooler when you can hit something and potentially shoot on past into a new and do yeah. better. So that's 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 what it's all about is enjoying the enjoying the journey of it. So yeah, guys. So we're gonna end it at that. Um, again, this is a very uh, cool day. Definitely wanted to get to the magma project because I didn't know it was really gonna happen. It was, you know, Justin was a little up and down with me on this one, hot and cold. But I'm glad he made it out, and you know, I'm, dude, I'm so thankful to let me be a part of the project, man. Man, I'm really happy appreciate to, it. Happy to come and share them with you in person. Again, dude, thank you very much, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Till next time, guys. You guys know I appreciate all the love and support. Bye. We got Walter, which is Justin's brother. Of course, we got Justin with Jessica Belka Reptiles. We got Jonathan with Tapu Exotics. We got, um, <laughs> just like, I'm joking, I'm joking. We got Mike with Porter's Pythons. We got uh, Beach Bum, Adam with Beach Bum Exotics. And we got Adam with Adam Serrano Pythons, right? All right, so headed back now, going to the airport. Um, we had a great time last night. We, we actually met up with a whole bunch of uh, breeders here, breeders uh, dinner um, here in LA, and just a fantastic group of guys, really awesome. Jerry got to hang out and uh, hear a bunch of snake talk that he did not understand. But uh, we had a good time, a lot of really awesome people live down here, and um, this is the second time actually we've met with them, uh, with the whole group, and it was a lot of fun, and there's a couple new guys this time. Uh, we're heading to the airport, flying home, uh, so this is going to be the end of the vlog, and it was a lot of fun, and let me know what you guys think of this format, honestly. Like, do you guys like kind of the story format of this better, or do I just need to go back to doing the standard, hey, here's the snake, check this out. That's what I'm actually more comfortable with. Um, it's easier for me, but let me know what you think, if this is something you guys absolutely love, want to see more of, um, I'm willing to do it, so um, peace out.